that point, my shit's rocking. I'm like, damn. So I look in the mirror. I look at my phone. And I got a, a little, I had a little bitty scratch. Just a little scratch. And a fucking golf ball coming out of my head. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So as y'all can tell by the caption of the video today, we are getting a little juicy. So um, before we get into that, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and follow me on my social medias. And yeah, we about to get into it. So I've been seeing this go around on like TikTok and YouTube, and it made me kind of like think like, damn, I actually have a crazy first fight story, believe it or not. So. I just want to give some backstory first. A lot of people have this perception of me that I'm like this cocky, stuck up, like snobby girl. Like I've kept, like a lot of people think that I came from money. Like everybody just has. I feel like before they get to know me, they have like this perception of me of something that I'm really not. So I just want to give a little. I just want to you know throw that out there that I've never given the vibe to anybody that you know like I was up or a mean girl or anything like that i've never been like that and anybody that knows me will tell you that and it's so crazy because once people actually have a conversation with me it usually takes one conversation for people to be like damn she is not who i thought she was and they mean that in a good way and it's crazy because everybody always says that and it's like i ain't gonna lie i really thought you were this or you were that and like i said it takes one conversation with me one hangout one whatever to be like damn you're actually cool like sorry for that I never gave people a reason to think that I was better than them or that I thought I was better than them, that, you know, was never a mean girl. Like, I was never one of them. I tried to get along with everybody. I was very open-minded, like, and I still am that way to this day. So, this just goes to show that people, I ain't gonna, I'm not gonna have a potty mouth today. I'm working on that for 2024. If y'all know me, y'all know I've said plenty of times that I feel like cussing is like a form of expression to me, so I do it a lot, but I'm trying to work on that. So, yeah. But, um, this just go, this story would just go to show that really be hating. Like, people really just be hating, and it's just sad. So, okay, fast forward. This is when I was in the 11th grade. So, Okay, y'all know how I be in high school. You know, sometimes you and your friends like bicker and y'all have like them little weeks or maybe even a month where y'all just kind of like think y'all fading apart, think y'all not friends no more. Y'all kind of go off and start talking to other friends, whatever. So me and my best friend at the time were kind of going through that. Like we were just, very, we just kept clashing. And so we were just kind of like, she was hanging out with her other friends and I would hang out with my other friends. Cool, it was all cool, it was no beef. So I remember this one day, I, it was lunchtime. Everything was cool. Mind y'all, I'm gonna keep going in there, y'all. I'm in the 11th grade at the time. Please remember that. Write that down. Cause you're. Write that down. So I'm in the 11th grade at the time, and we're at lunch. And so that day, I went to sit with my cousin. So me and this cousin, like, we aren't now. I mean, we still cool. I can text her right now and be like, hey, you know, we want to link, whatever. And it, it, it ain't ain't nothing weird about it. But um, and at the time we weren't super close like we were close I would say probably seventh grade eighth grade ninth grade and then once our classes started to get Spread out all over the place. That's when we kind of drifted, but it was never no beef You know what I'm saying like me and her were cool. That was my people's I'm welcome anytime vice versa So I go to sit with her everything's cool. I ain't gonna drop no names either by the way, but um So we sitting down we eating and this girl I'm gonna call her Sour Patch because that's what you at this point that's what you got to be a sour patch you have to be because why are you just why are you so uh why are you so angry for no reason okay so we're sitting down everything's cool right so sour patch comes and she sits down and she tells my cousin she asked my cousin you're really gonna let her sit with us and i'm eating my lunch i'm on my phone you know who the is she talking about i don't know like it, it can't be me because i don't know this girl um like when I say I don't know I, I probably have seen her around school not gonna lie but I don't know her I've never spoken to her never like there's nothing between us y'all never had a drama type of person I'm not confrontational but I, I take shit there when it needs to be but like more of the story is I don't be on that so I would remember if we had an issue 
So anyways, I'm like, she, she, who she talking about? Shit, you know, I'm ear hustling. And my cousin like, what you talking about? So Sour Patch starts to stand up and she said, this is our table. You really gonna let this sit with us? And at that point, when she got to, that's when I knew she was talking about me. So, you know, I was casually put my phone down. I'm like, do I know you? And I ain't saying, you know, like, oh, I'm about to, we about to get active. I'm about to just start talking crazy to her because I, bro, it don't, it, you don't even got to do all that. It, we don't even got to take it there because all that, all the people to understand that y'all, people be getting rowdy in the side for what? Like, that don't prove nothing. So, I'm like, do I know you? And she's like, I'm not talking to you. Da 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 da. And you, that's what she was saying to me, just running her mouth. Because at that point, I don't know. If, do I know you or not? I don't care. If, I don't care what you're talking about. What's really the issue? You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, what's this? Come on, skip all that. What's up? So I'm just really sitting there like this bitch lost her mind. Like she really has done lost her mind. She's crazy. So I'm just looking at my cousin like, um, you know, like in the midst of everything, I'm just mind blown. And so she starts telling my cousin like, and you, you scat for letting her sit with us, and I, I'm done, but quit you and da 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 da. So okay. She walks away, bye. So I'm like, yeah, something ain't right up there. <laughs> something ain't right, I don't know. But at that point, lunch over, like, I don't even want the lunch. Phone put up. I'm a little, I ain't gonna lie, I'm a little, I'm a little heated. Like, who do, what? Cause one thing about me, it don't be that deep. Like shit really don't be that deep for me. It's like, if, if we really gotta take it there, I'm gonna take it there, but like, it just don't be like, bro. I, I had a lot going. I had a lot going for myself then, and I do now. It's just, it really like for me to get there. You really had to fucked up with me. You really had to get like put me there because with me, it's like once I go there, I really go there. The people that really know me, like really know me, everybody. I give off this sweet, you know. Super nice, oh yeah, da, 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 da. which is so crazy to me because half, some people say I give off like a mean girl stuck up snob vibe and then half me, half of people say that I'm so sweet and so, you know, bubbly and da da da, da. I'm so soft, like, which one is it? So, um, yeah, a lot of people think that like I'm just super sweet, super nice, you know, like I'm a pushover and regardless I don't care what anybody thinks because the people that know me are the people the people that matter are the people that know me and that's all that matters I don't care what anybody thinks of me so um like I say all that to say like because I am so just full of love and so sweet and so nice when I get to that point I don't give a fuck what nobody's talking about because now I'm here so we gotta make it worth it that's how I feel now you done got me on to this other it's, it's kind of like it's kind of like I'm in Ohio when I'm nice, but when I get pissed, I go to Cali. So it, it takes me to get all the way from here to here to get amped up. So once I'm there, once I don't wait, once you done took me all the way to Cali, oh, I'm about to get turned. Like we, it is what it is, and it's not, it's not going back. When I'm done, that's when I'm, that's when it's over and done with. So just don't fuck with me. So at this point, I'm like, whoo. At this point, I'm a little shaken up. So, you know, I'm, I'm, we, you know, I'm talking to my cousin, like, yeah, like, what's going on? You know, the, the surrounding tables is kind of like, what's, what's going on, Lonnie? You know, because, like, one thing about me, a lot of people knew me. I'm not going to lie. I played sports. I was very active in, like, you know, like, um, class activities, like, things like that. I stayed after school a lot. Like, I was very friendly. I took a lot of extracurricular classes. Like, a lot of people knew me. So, you know, people ask me, like, what's going on? Like, what's up with this? Like, I'm like, I don't know. Like, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Like, so, y'all. Oh, and we just getting started. We just getting started. So, y'all, she comes back in the lunchroom. I peep her out the corner of my eye. And she's walking. My table's back here. And there's, like, some doors. There's, like, my table, her table, a little space, and then, like, the door to go outside and to go to the gym and da 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 So, she comes back in, and she's walking over. But she kind of, like, she kind of, like, you know, trying to be discreet. I see you. What do I do? I stand up because what the f up? Like what's really going on? So I stand up and I'm just standing there like, what's up? I, you know, I, I, I'm not without a talking. I don't like the fight. I really don't. Mind y'all. I mean, okay, I'm gonna be honest. I done had a few little tussles, like a f tussles, a little, a little. We ain't even take it there. 
But by this point, I was so tired of people trying me, y'all. Like I said, I played sports, so you don't know how many times we done went to a school and lost, and people, you know, done try to play me or done ran their mouth or da 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 da. Like I really, one thing I think I did a great job doing growing up and getting older. I've always been super mature for my age, was just letting shit go. I live by if they don't touch you. Let it go let it go because it don't be worth it it don't be worth it the little 20 seconds of anger that you let get out it's not gonna be worth it so okay now you try me now you're trying me you think you bullying me that's one thing I hate a bully I hate a bully I don't stand for it now I will never stand for it I'm gonna speak up every time I ever see any bullying going on I hate bullying y'all at the end of the day when they sit us side by side like we the same for real you know what I'm saying none of that ever matters to me so I hate a bully I really really do with all my heart and this is this once y'all we get to end the story it was nothing but bullying I don't really like to consider bullying because I was about to tear that ass up but, you know, at the end of the day, he was fucking with me, he was picking on me. So if you want to go there, if you want to be technical, I guess she was bullying me, whatever. I don't know. So, okay, I'll stand up and like, you know, like, what? I'm just, I'm literally all just like, what's up? I'm calm, just like that, what's up? And you know, she just looking at me. She looking at me and that, by that point, everybody, everybody like, oh, standing up, oh, going crazy. She on bush, she on bush. So the girl just like, okay leave that's it for the day at that point I, I seen her walk out at that point i had one more bell left and then i had practice i really didn't carry the way it went but like time to move on when i was just gonna sit there run home call my mama i'm going to class and then i'm going to practice and then i'm going to carry out my day so it's just so crazy because like i said i'm not gonna do no name drops i still to this day never know i never found out if it's really true or not i don't know why somebody would lie about this but so the next day come well rewind i guess after school let out mind you i'm, I'm walking to practice i guess i heard a rumor that she went up to my friend at the time now mind y'all like i said i don't know if this is true i'm not doing this to start no drama because i don't care i graduated I don't even know how many years ago eight years ago I, a while ago i don't care don't even know if it was true or not i'm just telling y'all the story because if i'm gonna give y'all the details i'm gonna give y'all the details right to answer any questions that y'all probably thinking about so this is going to what i'm about to tell y'all is going to play into a part of what happens next so um i heard that she went up to my friend that i was telling y'all about at the time and was like i'm looking for monica and you know she was like why like what do you need her for like you know she told her that she had beef with me she wanted to fight da, 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 da. i heard that she told her my first bill what my first bill be i didn't know all this until after, way after is it true i don't know and i don't care does it does does the math math for sure but is it true i don't know i don't care so I come in school the next day, 7.30 is when school starts. I think I got to school, y'all, I used to be, I used to get to school late. Once I hit the 11th grade, most of my classes was, all my classes was extracurricular, so I ain't gonna lie, like I had to be there for some of them, but that was not one of them. I mean it was, but y'all don't know how it be, we about to graduate next year, these classes is really just for the, the credit, so. Um, I think I all got there, like like I said, school started at 7, it was either 7.30 or 7.45, and I got there once everybody was, like, the bell had rang, everybody was supposed to be in class. It was dead quiet. Y'all, the way our school was set up, there was a parking lot, and then once you got the parking lot, you kind of, like, walk, we have, like, a walkway. Now, so I'm trying to, like, picture it to where y'all can see it. So there's a parking lot. You can go one way to go into the office, or you can go this way to go into the building. Either way, you can get into the building, but I'm just saying that this way will take you to the office, then to the building. This way takes you right into the building. But this way that I went in, above that where my classes are at, there's a big window to where you can, anybody standing right there can see anybody walking in, whether they're going into the office or the regular door. I ain't worried about that because I'm fucking going to class. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. So I didn't, I didn't, I didn't notice this. So I guess she was standing right there waiting for me, like watching for when I came in, right? So I go up, it's dead. I'm saying, what's up to the security guards? You know, you're late again. Da, 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 da. Cool, whatever. I'm on my phone, like, got my stuff. And so 
I go up like the back way up these flight of steps and once I get up to the flight of steps to the little hallway and my classroom is literally right here, first door. Yo, guess who meet me at the hallway? Like literally as I'm coming down the little hallway, she coming around the corner. Sour Patch! So she got a friend that was at her locker that is right there. Now mind you, me and the girl, me and her friend have had plenty of classes together. We wasn't close at all, but we was cool. Like we used to chop it up and laugh. Like, and so that's just she gonna come into play next. I don't even got a name for her. I don't even know. But um, so she come around the corner and I'm like, bro, what is it with you? Like, I saw I really don't have time for this. Like, I'm about to go to class. What is your issue with me? Like, what is it? And she like, you called me out my name. I said, what are you talking about? I said, I really, I really think you have the wrong person. I don't even know you. She said, you called me out my name. I said, I promise you I don't know what you're talking about, but one thing I do know, you need to move. Like, I'm trying to get to class. I'm not doing this with you. So at that point now, you're pissing me off already. It's early as fuck. I'm late. What is the problem? What is the problem? So she got, mind you, okay, I didn't even tell y'all this. She has a, a little bitty pencil, right? And she like flipping it. And she like doing like this little like, yeah, you called me a bit. That's, that's the word I, I suppose we call her. Yeah, you called me a, flipping a pencil. As if she's about to try to, you know, do something with it. So, her friend, like, y'all not about to fight. Like, she said her name. You graduate. We graduate in a few months. Monica, you graduate next year. Like, we not about to do this. So, I'm thinking, like, yeah, like, what's she on? Like, we not doing this. Like, what's the point? Like, I don't even know you. Like, it's just weird. So, y'all, I start taking my stuff off, right? She had this pencil. I'm not peeping. I'm thinking she just not right in the head. Like, so I start taking my stuff off just in case. The way she was twirling it, you thought she was about to try to stab me in my neck. So I'm like, fuck is she got, like, what does she got going on? So, you know, at that point, my stuff already, you know, I done took my stuff off and I'm like, you know, what's up? So then her friend keeps saying that, like, you know, y'all not about to fight, blah, 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 blah. Like, I'm like, okay, cool. She's like, you know what? You right. Talking to her friend. She said, but I'm, she said, I'm gonna finish my business with you. I said, bro, get out of my face and go about your day because I'm about to go about mine. So I'm going to pick my stuff up. She appears as if she's going to pick her stuff up. Where she picked it up? But y'all know this half a slap me with her. Matter of fact, hold on, let me rewind. Y'all, I want to tell y'all, I literally went viral for this. Like, not necessarily on like all platforms, but like in CPS, Cincinnati Public, that's the like the school district I went to. So all the surrounding schools, literally everybody knew about this and it was so like at the time it was embarrassing but like I, and this is how crazy it is because y'all not y'all not ready for what i'm about to say every time i tell this story people either laugh or they be like oh my god you're lying like i don't care it don't bother me no more but um like i literally went viral for this there was memes made after me people was making it like they headers like it was literally like when i would go to um like games they were like oh you the girl that i'm about to tell y'all uh, what they what they would say so, but it wasn't like necessarily, it wasn't always like an issue, but it was like, it did piss me off that it was like, bro, all of this over a girl I don't even know and don't even know me. Like, so, um, I'm thinking she picks her, I'm thinking she's about to pick her stuff up. Y'all know them think pads, them black laptops that came in the fat case that we start carrying around in like 10th, 11th grade, maybe even 9th grade. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, laugh, go ahead, laugh. I don't care, don't bother me. Yeah, she cracked me, like, damn, bitch. I knew you was not right in the head. Like, yup, she got me. She really cracked me so hard, y'all. Like, when I tell y'all I had a fat golf ball on my head, like, it was bad. So, pause right there. Did I know she was gonna hit me? Hell no. Nah. Who has ever, raise your hand if you ever been hit with a laptop. You said I'm the only one with my hair raised. You see what I'm saying? How the fuck am I supposed to know that was gonna happen? You think if I knew, you really mean to tell me? You think if I knew I was gonna get hit with that, I would've let her hit me? I'm so, like y'all, I do not play it on my face. Like I'm not cocky, but I'm very, I, I'm very confident. I never played about my face. So you think I'm about to let a, 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 you think I'm about to let this gremlin put this on my head, on my face? No. 
So that's why I don't really bother me at the time it did because it was just like people were so childish. Like I said, they was making memes, they was making posts about me. Literally, I was the topic for Facebook for I don't even know how long, especially that day, all day long. And put a pin in the story real quick. I wanna just, bruh, my dude, when I say he was tearing everybody to shreds, like if y'all know him, y'all probably don't. But one thing about him, when I say he eat people up, Y'all, he's literally known for capping, like literally breaking people down. To, like, and, but what he say is real though. It's so crazy what he say is real. So, I, you know, we gonna get to that part. But shout out to him though, cause yeah, shout out to him. So she hit me. I ain't gonna lie, I stumble, and she starts swinging on me. I start swinging on her. We we fight for like a good three seconds. By that point, she got my hair. And y'all, I got a lot of it put up. If y'all know me. Y'all know I've been had inches, real inches at that, long hair. But at this point, I ain't gonna lie, I used to wear my hair in like a little ponytail. It was a big poof, it was cute. But that was me, I used to wear a little ponytail. Y'all, when I say she had my hair balled up, so you know, she not hitting me though. She got my hair, I got her hair, and I'm like, just let me go. Like, let go of my hair, I'm about to beat you, let go, you know, we doing all that. At that point, everybody done came out. They dragged her off me. I had my taser. I'm like, nah, bitch, I'm about, to, I'm about to sting you. Like, I was really going off. I'm about to sting her. Like, literally, my, the security guard was, it, it happened so quick, y'all, but I remember it so vividly, for real. Like, we literally, they literally pulling her off me. Not even off me, because I'm like laying on the bottom half of her body, and she got my hair like this, and I got my arm wrapped around with her, like, when my, you know, it was, it was, a, it, was it was literally so messy. So they pulling her. I'm trying to get up because yeah, you want a bitch. I'm about to stop. I don't know what's about to happen to you, but I'm about to do it. I'm about to. You're not going down the steps. So anyways, it was two people, two security guards. It was one that like I was really close to her. She was an old lady, y'all. I could not hurt her. Like I really just. And I'm, I'm about to get you though. I'm about to get you. So they they take her, y'all. I promise y'all to right hand to God. I never seen that girl again. I never seen her again. Anyways, I never seen her again. They take me down to the office. I, you know, at that point, my shit's rocking. I'm like, damn. So I look in the mirror. I look at my phone. And I got a, a little, I had a little bitty scratch. Just a little scratch. And a fucking golf ball coming out of my head. Y'all, when I say I start busting out the tears, when I say I was so mad, I was literally so mad, y'all. I was so, I don't think I, well, I have been that mad in my life. But not before that. I was heated. I was about to just start socking anybody. But at that point, I'm in the office. And literally, y'all, I it was from there to the office in like, I would say five minutes. So at this point, everybody out the class, when I see teachers, so... Um, I, I'm in the office and by that point when I say my phone was blowing up My phone was going crazy. My mom's calling me. Brandon's calling me like literally my phone I'm getting Facebook notifications already Motherfucker screenshot me said who just got here with a laptop and people you you got here with a laptop like I'm like bro How do y'all know this like is that is TMZ in here? Like, so obviously the first person I called back um, was my mom and She like what? What is going on? What just happened? Brad is calling me saying that you got to find it. She's going crazy. I said, Mom, this bitch just hit me with a laptop. I don't even, she, you know, I'm, I, I, I don't even remember what I was saying word for word. But like, I'm just going off and da da da. She's like, I'm on my way. And she hang up. I'm telling y'all. So when she, it's over. She coming up here. She gonna handle y'all. All the office people, da da da. She gonna handle y'all. Because this shit wasn't handled right. So next, obviously, I, I'm seeing my boyfriend text me. I'm seeing Brandon text me, and like he keeps saying, like, "What happened, bro? I'm about to come up there. What the? F he going off?" So I call, I Facetime him, and he seen my y'all. Brandon will tell y'all. He said it every day. Then he'll say it every day now, still to this day. He don't play about me. He don't play about me, but especially he always say, "You're too pretty. You're too pretty. You are too pretty. You're too pretty." I hear that literally all the time. So when he seen that, bruh. He said, oh, hell no, nah, and hung up. Okay. This motherfucker's way, I already, knew what, I already knew what it was. He on his way. So now I'm, I'm in the office, I'm mad. Like, nah, this ain't just go down like this. Like, to me, I'm still confused, because what is the beef? Like, okay, so... My mom come up there, she fooling what, you know, what's going on. I had to tell her to calm down because at the end of the day, my office really didn't do anything. When I said they didn't handle it right, they didn't handle it right. 
until um after the fact so y'all heard the story not at one point was i ever the initiator the instigator did i ever start anything did i ever have any reason to go through any of this so you know he like y'all talked to her and she's saying that y'all had an issue from when she was y'all had a, a, a issue from when she was a freshman so at that point this is where remember i kept telling y'all i'm in 11th grade so she's a year above me stick with me if she's a year above me that means i'm a, I'm a junior and she's a, a senior if she was a freshman i was in the eighth grade that was four fucking years ago anything i don't even i don't even need to hear the rest of the story because what are you mad about from four years ago and please be for real Please be for real, if I did something that bad that you had to come after me four years ago, you don't think I would remember you? I guess she said that we were in an auditorium and um, during an assembly. And I, you know, I'm, I'm a tall girl. I mean, at the time, I'm tall now. I guess now I'm kind of average. But back then in high school, like I was, I was already this height. So it was like, I was kind of a tall girl. Is this true? Y'all, I promise y'all, if it was true, I would say it because I don't care, but I really don't know. I guess I had, apparently I had my leg up or something, something, I don't know. She said I was in her way. She asked me when I called her a B word and told her whatever I told her. Hey, y'all. What? At that point, I'm gonna fuck up out of here. So anyways, um, y'all. But y'all know I got suspended for three days? I got suspended for three days. Not that I gave a damn. Why am I being suspended? So, you know, I'm kind of like, damn. Like, you know, like, this about to put me behind. Like, whatever. It was cool. It was cool, though. I didn't even care. So, I'm like, so what does she get? He ain't want to tell me. Y'all know. Okay, this one to get juicy. So, well, not even juicy. This one to get fucked up. This is when this is when they did not handle it right. Okay, so I leave, come back to school. She gone. She she so called not coming back. So well, my principal had called me down to the office my first day back and basically said that she was getting ten days expulsion, and that's it. This bitch almost gave me. 10 days y'all she gave me a concussion literally gave me a concussion i'm not being dramatic like she hit me so hard with the laptop i literally like i thought my eye was black for i don't even know how long i would say like at least at least seven days maybe six the knot was huge my eye was literally like this and i had a concussion i literally had a concussion y'all like and you mean to tell me that she's only getting 10 days yeah um life went on I was cool, um, you know, I had all that shit going on in the media, then that's when a, uh, a friend, so it was actually a teammate of mine and my my friend I was telling y'all about at the time, um, she was a teammate of ours, and at this, at this point we're in basketball season, so we know her from volleyball. She's the one that had that, at that point, it was like a week later, that's when she had brought it to my attention, you know, that apparently she was saying, you know, that she knew this was gonna happen. Me and her kind of fell out, and yeah, it kind of just went from there. Um, eventually all the stuff died down. The day, it was crazy, because the day that that happened, so I had so much, like, so many people on Facebook that, yes, were talking bad, and like, laughing, and you know, acting it on, but there was so many people that was coming through, like, shutting all that shit down. Like, people I didn't even expect to do it. So, like, that really, I still remember that to this day. It means a lot. Like, I could really go pull the statuses up on Facebook right now, but I ain't even gonna do it. So, yeah, that was, like, the end of that. Um... And yeah, now they be on your girl, the same people that was making them posts. They living a rough life. I should, I should really put y'all on here. Like, I done, then I came across my phone a few times. Y'all living rough, y'all living tough. Y'all know what I'm saying? Like, and I don't wish bad on nobody, but karma, she would do her job every time. You hear me? She gonna do her job every time. But, um, yeah, it was cool. That's, like I said, that's pretty much the end of it. Um... I lived, went about my life, went about school, never had any issues for real after that. And I was just little me. So, 
yeah um like i said i had just seen this kind of like trending on like social media like i said um i had just seen this trending on social media like i said um youtube and tiktok the people like giving their little story times on it and i'm like damn they think they got a story i got a story i wish i could insert some pictures um if i can find one in my eye i'll try to show y'all maybe matter of fact no i'm not because that's that's the past we not bringing that back to the internet okay if you've seen it you've seen it. if you didn't picture a golf ball right here yeah green a green black eye so you know but um yeah that was pretty much the end of it i just wanted to tell y'all that little story and to get y'all some backside it's crazy yeah but i'm gonna have a love y'all want to hear any other story times because one thing about it my life is a movie there's a lot of stuff that i probably don't went through or don't experience that y'all wouldn't even have thought so comment down below if there's anything specific that y'all want to like know or want me to do a story time on because i'm definitely um open to doing that but yeah um just want to get y'all a little a little you know a little something but yeah that's pretty much it i hope y'all enjoyed this video comment like and subscribe don't be a bully if you know a bully shut them down shut them down um and if you are somebody out there or somebody that is out there that is getting bullied stand your ground don't let nobody play with you because they're gonna keep playing with you every time if you let them play with you one time so just be you unapologetically don't worry about what nobody says because the tables always turn i live by that the tables always turn they always turn they always turn every time and karma don't miss you feel me so just keep your head up keep doing what you gotta do it's gonna play out for sure so yeah that's the end of this video i hope y'all enjoyed it please so yeah y'all please make sure to like the video and comment and definitely definitely subscribe because i'm going to be posting videos back to back to back for the rest of 2024 so if you want to make sure you know when i post hit the bell notification to one of these corners um yeah and that is all for this story time love you guys and as always keep up with me in the next one